Hi and welcome to the second video on how I built my CNC router made of steel here on Run CNC at home. It's been a while since I released my last video on building this CNC router, but uh, in summer there's a zillion uh, more things to do than editing videos. Okay, back to the topic. In this video, I once again want to take you into the build process, uh, give you uh, some more information about the wool machine and show you some pictures uh, about the making. In the last video, we completed the main components, the beam, the table, the columns, and now we have to bolt it all together. I tapped M12 threads into the surface plate, uh, bolted the columns and used a dial indicator to fix the linear rail of the x-axis parallel to the surface plate. For sure I broke a tab, but uh, I managed to get it out with a um, carbide Dremel tool. The Z-axis was built out of 20 mm thick aluminium plates and they were pre-phased. Turning the spindle to size and we have a plenty of more pictures. These are the servo motors made by JMC, 180 watts. I use them on all axes and they work fine, but to be honest, it is a little hassle to uh, tune them and um, get all parameters right. And now it was time for the first tests. No problem for the motors, even with this uh, 20 kilos extra weight. This machine has a travel size of about um, 700 millimeters in X. 
that's the x-axis but uh, due to the gantry uh, the dimension of work pieces is uh, limited to about 530 millimeters because um, the uprights the columns stand 530 millimeters apart and larger work pieces won't fit through them in Y we have a little less than uh, 500 millimeters. Let's do a little upskirt and then we have a better look. Um, there's a little overhang with these rails uh, and so I got some uh, millimeters uh, extra movement. I know DMG does this uh, too for the milling machines and um, there's no um, noticeable lack of stability um, with this overhang. For the y-axis I got my hands on 35 millimeter um, linear rails with MR35 roller blocks made by Schneeberger. That's a very uh, decent Swiss company and I dismounted them from a large DMG 7 ton deckel machine. So they are recycled. The rails on the x-axis are Schneeberger 2, but this time they are 25 millimeters rails. In that, the uh, travel size is 220 millimeters. Let's have a look at the electronic components. We have a PC hanging on the wall, uh, running Linux CNC. We have this uh, touch screen. Um, this is really nice if you don't want to use a keyboard uh, all the time. Uh, we have this uh, cabinet uh, controlling all the electronic devices. Um, this is uh, the main switch and the VFD display and this is uh, really handy. Uh, here you can uh, control the feet override. So if you look on this here, yeah, we have uh, 25, uh, 50%, 75, 100% and uh, you can go to 150%. This is uh, a nice feature um, for safety. Uh, you can uh, stop the machine on uh, 0% and then uh, uh, slightly increase the feed rate. If you want to see my messy uh, electronic cabinet, then you're welcome. Have a look. So what's in here? We have three power supplies for the servo motors, uh, the VFD controlling the spindle, and this is the main device. Um, this is a Mesa card, Ethernet Mesa card, um, uh, I76E. Finally, let's showcase some uh, machining on my DIY CNC rotor. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it and feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Oh. Uh -huh.